All right, this is Noob Runner. Today we're gonna to be talking about uh, Netrunner DB. Uh, getting ready to do a video where I kind of revise some of my decks here. So before I, I did that, I figured I would come out and kind of talk to talk to you about Netrunner DB as a whole. If you come to the home page of Netrunner DB, you're gonna find the deck list of the week with a, a, a lengthy description. I have not yet uh, participated in the deck list of the week. At some point, I hope that I am, uh, uh, you know, a little bit more developed and I can just hop into decks like this and just enjoy them. But at this point, the uh, most interaction I've had with the deck list of the week is watching Andre from Metropole Grid uh, play, the, uh, play the deck list. Usually, I think it's almost every Thursday he plays it before he does some other stuff. So um, you can catch that over there. You can give it a shot, but that's the home page uh, is the, the deck list of the week here. So, and it has the other deck list here. Again, I haven't done much with this. I have um, an area that I have spent a lot more time with is the deck list. We'll start here, right? So with the deck list, you can do a number of search options. You can go to tournament uh, decks that have been part of tournaments, right? You can go to Hall of Fame, your favorites my deck list if you if you publish your decks which we'll go through in a bit you they'll be there for you as a quick ability to see all of the deck lists that you've published i have yet to publish a deck list because i haven't made anything that would be uh valuable so but i do have several decks i'll show you in a minute that are sitting there and i could publish them if i want to maybe one day i'll, I'll do such a thing the way i oftentimes use this and again if you if you've seen some of my other videos i've been net decking that's what they call that's what they call it when you go in and you just grab a deck that somebody else has published and play it and uh and it's highly recommended by many people i've read many things that say do that it helps you again for me especially it helps me get out of my comfort zone because i see these cards i'm like i don't see how that one would work and I don't ever put, if I was building my own decks all the time, I'd just keep on playing with the same old cards, maybe adding one in. But there's so many possibilities with these cards. So um, you, you really can get a lot of value out of just coming in here and, and net decking for a good period of time. Just forcing yourself to play through the card pool have different cards and different decks that have different interactions and, and working through those so i recommend that for people who are just like they want to play netrunner and they want to do more than the cord set but they don't feel like they're competent enough yet to build a deck and they don't want, or even people who aren't interested in deck building really that much this is a great way just to go out and grab a deck and and get to playing right away and and see different cards so the first thing you want to do is you can come over here to the allowed packs, right? And it automatically starts with everything checked. You can undo all that or you can have it all. And you could be like, for me, what I do is I come in and this takes a second. I wish there was a better way. There is a way. And in, in when you're building, when you're doing some other stuff to check the whole uh, cycle and I wish they would implement that here but I'm not complaining about Netrunner DB because it is a phenomenal site with so much wealth of information but anyway so for me as part of the ret runner I would come down here and uncheck all these and then you go back up to your core sets and your um, your core sets and your big box expansions and you uncheck all of those that aren't allowed as well which include all those so now i've got order and chaos for the de deluxes and then i've got through the sand sand cycle for my available cards they will these deck lists will not put any cards in those decks that aren't uh, provided in the ones you've checked off now what I've been doing is I've been going through and I've been finding a particular ID that I want to play in a faction and then I come in and type that. So let's do blue sun. 
right? And there's other options here, but if you put in Boot Blue Sun, you're pretty much not needing to worry about Cider Faction. You're not needing to worry about author name, necessarily deck list name, any of that. But there's a number of search options that you can utilize to get uh, to the desired set of deck lists to look through, right? And I like to do by popularity because I just assume if 200 people have checked it as like, it's probably uh, something that a lot of people have played. So I'll give that a go, but you can do it by date. You can do it by number of likes, which I don't know how that's different in popularity. Again, I'm not a master of this site by any means, but uh, I do uh, use it uh, to my advantage i guess a uh, and then you can these right here really don't matter either because they pretty much know that uh, almost all of these cards are rotated so we're going to go ahead and search and it's going to provide you with a number of deck lists here see these 352 and you're just going to open it up and you can read some of them not all of them are as lengthy as this is but you can read read the cards like such or you can even open them up and, and read them more specifically just about that card, right? And everything and get more information. But uh, I pretty much just look through some of this, re maybe read some of this, say, oh, here's a card I've never played with, Shattered Remains. And when I find a deck that has four, three, four cards that I've never played with before, I'm interested in giving it a go to a certain degree. I mean, I'm obviously trying to look around and kind of see what they're trying to do because I haven't, I haven't mastered every play style yet. And certain ones I, I take a liking to a little bit more. And, and sometimes I just say, nope, I'm playing it anyway because I need to learn how to play in a different fashion anyway. So I just say all that to say, this is where you can come. And all you have to do right here there's there's other info here that you can go in you can see what packs were actually used you can see all types of deck information uh, about it which i'm not really using any of this just yet because i'm just trying to play some new you know new cards and everything and learn the card pool now this right here is really what you want to do you want to click on Genteki net format it gives it to you all you're going to do is hit control a to copy all of it and then hit control c or you can do a uh, you know select all copy however you want to do it then you're going to come over to Genteki. you're going to go to deck builder right here you're going to hit new corp you're going to slap that information in there. You're going to go and select the the guy that you were that where's Blue Sun at? Blue Sun right here. Boom. You're going to select your ID. You're going to verify that everything transport right. You should know as a corp is probably going to have 49 cards most of the time and then make sure your influence is good. And then you're just going to name that deck and save it. And then you can hop right into playing. I mean, it is that easy. There's no, so it's basically not deck building at all. It's you just going to grab ram, ram, various permutation of the card pool into a deck and going to play it so highly recommend you uh participate in that especially if you're newer players but even as a uh, uh someone who's been playing for a while it's cool just to get out your comfort zone and go see try and figure out what somebody was trying to do with their decks i will say that it is challenging sometimes you might play a deck and be like man this deck sucks no it's that you just don't know how they were playing it because everybody's got their own playing styles this deck has a certain goal they know which cards they want in their opening hands they know which cards they're looking for and they're drawn for they have particular goals with these decks and if you don't know those you're going to play it like every other deck more like a vanilla deck and you're going to find yourself wrestling to actually be confident with it so there is a certain learning curve for each deck some of them are more intuitive some of them just kind of fall into your lap as you're working through the cards the cards come out right and you're like wow but sometimes it's rough right and so that just means you have to be diligent and play it more times and just instead of just saying oh this deck sucks right i mean that's just how it is and i mean you got the cards could come out all wrong one time the the other player could get great draws there's so many factors into it that you can't just say after one play that a deck sucks you need to play it multiple times but hey if you didn't enjoy it just go grab another one right there's no i mean you do what you want this is your fun right i mean that's really what it comes down to this is your fun so with your decks my deck 
I've got a number of decks right here. It's real easy. You create a new uh, runner, a new corp. But uh, anyway, you can come. The cool thing about this, I'm just going to hit edit on one I've done already. You can go to, in this one, this is what I was talking about. You can uncheck the whole cycle. I don't know why they didn't just do that with the deck list portion as well. But again, I'm not complaining. This is a free service. I'm not paying anything. So I can't be a, a consumer that's fussing about stuff like that, right? But anyway, the you can uh, select current card pool right is an option which will let you play only what's legal right now which is a nice way to do it if you are really playing standard right but if you're playing something like what i'm playing you're going to select all of these also in the settings this one is important it can be important especially if you're playing core you want to so just core you want to select that you can use three core sets right otherwise you would only have one of a particular card or two of a particular card when you use three core sets you have access to three of all cards and you can deck build much more fluently uh, with that setting checked but sometimes maybe it's a core set one core set somebody wants you can just come right in here and check that to one but anyway you get your collection right you make sure it's good and then you come over here and build and what I like to do is these are your various factions and these are your types of cards I like to do them kind of one at a time but you'll have to figure out what you're looking for I'm looking let's say I'm just looking for hardware criminal hardware I can look through the options let's say if I just want to see what all hardware is out there I, you can do that and then what I like to do is go ahead and filter it by faction right but you can filter it by uh, type you can filter it by influence so there's a number of possibilities for how you filter this information you could choose just to look at uh, criminal and shaper cards I mean there's just so many ways and you could choose to look at every single card there is you probably wouldn't want to add in identities because at this point you've probably already selected your identities right but that's a way that you could change your identities if you if you wanted to mid build you just come over here and you remove the Gabriel Santiago and add another one so anyway that is your deck builder you just basically save that uh, save it once you're done with it give it a name and then you can once again come on over here and where do you do that at is it I think it's here hang on right here you're going to go to it's been a little while since I've done it Gentechi net format it pops it up control a control Z pop it over here say start a new set control uh, control a if you're cleaning up a new one slap it in there and you're off to the races right I mean it's it's really that easy to to uh, utilize this and get your decks from one place to another and you can also build your decks in engine techie but i do find the interface for me personally to be more uh easy to flow and, and it's kind of just brighter with the white background and everything that i kind of just enjoy that right so you you got tons of way ways to build decks or pull decks and so next tab here i wanted to show you it shouldn't take much longer you can go through and read cards at your uh, heart's delight i do it sometimes i want to read them even though i don't get a whole lot of benefit from reading cards because i'm often like i can't really put the picture together but as i learn more cards i probably will be able to like ooh, this might go good with this and so i'm that's another reason why i want to learn the card pool because i really want to build a deck one day that that i did something cool right that's that's like a, a goal of mine for my netrunner journey is to build a deck that does something cool not necessarily wins all the time or is amazing but just does something cool that i'm just like wow i can't believe i put together that combo so but anyway you just start you can start right here at the core set and you can uh, look through here and let's just say you wanted to start at the beginning you can just click on this and you can read this card and on both its card and here in bigger print and you can read reviews and everything and then you can come right on over here and click for the next card and you can keep on rolling through these cards one at a time and learning about them uh, so that that's pretty cool or you can just search for a card right I use this a lot whenever I'm watching Andre 
he pulls up a card and he, you know, they know what these cards do. Everybody does. And I don't blame them for sit, not sitting there holding. And plus, I don't even do it. And I wanted to do it for my channel is hold over the cards in Genteki so that you can see what the card is for people who don't know. But I oftentimes forget too because I know the cards, right? So, it, I, but that's one of the reasons why a lot of times I'll listen to him for a while live and, and, and maybe even ask him a question or something. But then I might come back later and just watch it on YouTube so I can just pause it, go here, read what the card says here and be like, okay, so that's what he's doing. That's, that's now I understand what's going on in the big picture with, with that card. Right? So that's just some, that's another great resource. Or if you know, is just to be able to look up a card and, and read what it is there um let's see factions i was just looking at this i've never used it but basically what it does is it provides you with a group of it shows you all of the ids for that faction and then you can click here to go into like deck list and everything that are popular and you can once again sort those any way you want and finally reviews not finally uh reviews you can just read reviews of cards like that and rulings I didn't I've never used reviews or rulings tab but when I was looking through here to kind of make sure I knew a little bit about what's going on with these other uh, sections that I've never looked at I was uh, I was like oh wow this stuff would actually be valuable and I might want to come here and check it out sometime so those are just a ton of resources on Netrunner DB I'm not sure what uh, advanced oh advanced search for cards you can search for cards that way syntax i don't know i've never used syntax but that is interesting there and let's see that's pretty much it and then you can also get information you, you know stuff it, it, it'll give you alerts and all that and, and you can link with always be running which is where you you put in how you did in tournaments so that's a, a quick rundown of Netrunner DB. Again, the things that I value the most is being able to search for a card real quick. Sometimes when I got nothing to do, I can pull up the cards and just kind of walk through them and read them and read some reviews. And then also the deck lists are huge. They've been the most important. And then my decks, right? My decks, building your own decks or just having a deck available for you real quick that you can draw from. That is some phenomenal functionality that gets you playing Netrunner ASAP and not spending a whole lot of time, you know, uh, doing building decks or whatever the, the hard way of flipping through a binder. And I find that great, even though I really do like flipping through my binder and uh, looking at my cards in person. You know, I, I'm like I said, I'm a board gamer. I want that in person that interaction. That's a major part of why I enjoy it is, you know, rebelling against the isolation of technology. And uh, so I got, I really, really love Netrunner to be like, I'm willing to, you know, completely bypass a lot of that in-person interaction to just enjoy a, a more cyber involvement with, with people and everything. But again, I haven't found myself, you know, really wanting besides the only thing that you're, you're missing really is when you're standing across from that guy and he plays this card real fast and then he thinks about it and he plays this one. He could either, that might even, if you, if you played with the guy enough, that probably gives you a tip off. But if you hadn't, you could misread that and be like, oh, he hesitated. That's probably an agenda. And he could just be doing that just to bluff you. You know, that kind of stuff right there is one of the things that you're going to be missing from a Genteki environment, uh, which is, which is cool. I mean, there, there's nothing wrong with that at all. I still, I still never find myself saying, "Man, that I wish I, I had that necessarily." But when I do play with somebody in person, I really appreciate that aspect to the game, and I hope that I get to, you know, participate in person again one day. Like I've said in my other, uh, other videos, you know, more I got one guy I play with, but I'd like to be in a group with, you know four or five people six people four to six people and rotate around and play them and they got different decks i mean that thing is something that i would be interested in but otherwise i mean this uh Genteki and all of this really kind of speeds up the gameplay 
and, and, and it also offers the ability to not have to do all that accounting, which is amazing. So you got your pros and cons, right? I mean, Gentechi taking care of your money flow for you, making sure you're not, you know, using the card wrong, making sure that all that, not to say that it doesn't have its quirks and sometimes you just got to manually do some stuff, but just saying that so often for the majority, 90, 90% of the time, you're dealing with interactions that are resolved by the by the program, the Gentechi website, and that just makes for a beautiful, uh, easy flowing game where you can really spend more of your brain power concentrating on your strategy and tactics instead of fiddling with coins, dr pulling your three coins here, sending your three coins back and all that. So again, there's pluses and minuses to both sides and I enjoy both of them. I enjoy in person and I enjoy Gentechi, but just saying I, I got off on this side conversation due to the fact of just talking about how utilizing the binder to look through your cards there's something special about that but at the same time the ease of using utilizing this database here to build your deck is probably probably easier um, in, in a lot of ways so anyway that is me sharing about Netrunner DB and then going off on a side tangent like I always do. Hopefully you found value in this. And again, coming up uh, next video, I'm going to be tweaking my modded runner deck based upon the comments of Jason Ford, who provided me some, some a few tips on what I could do to possibly make that better. So we're going to work through those and I'm going to let you hear my thought process based upon what he's telling me, based upon how I'm interpreting it, based upon uh, what I also have as goals of my own for the deck. And so we, we will be doing that next video and I'm excited to, to do that with, with you guys and hopefully once again that you, you find value in it and, and people are interested in in that content so anyway you guys take care enjoyed uh hanging out with you once again